We're here today with Ryan Lagudi, Managing Director of Robo3D. Ryan, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me, David. Tell us a little bit about the Robo business. Yeah, Robo3D is a desktop 3D printer company. We're um, based in San Diego in the US. We were established in 2013. Uh, our target market are desktop users, so that ranges from education sort of institutions to so schools and universities to home users with entrepreneurs and, and um, opportunities like that, as well as small business. So where we're seeing a lot of activity is in industrial design, engineering, any of those sort of industries that require rapid prototyping, which is really what 3D printing enables. How established is the business? Yeah, as I said, we started in 2013. We have 30 employees headquartered in San Diego. We have grown year on year, so we're, we're a business that makes money. Uh, our first year we made one million revenue, US dollars, grew to 2.4. The following year and last year we grew to four million. So we're a, a business that's, that's still in its infancy in many respects, but we think there's still a lot of opportunity to come. What are some of the milestones the business has been able to achieve? We're at a bit of an inflection point um, with, our, with our history, to be honest. We obviously completed our listing on the 22nd of December last year, which was an amazing achievement for the business. Uh, coinciding with that, we released the first of two new products, the Robo C2, which is our entry level 3D printer, which is priced at 799 US dollars. That was a fantastic achievement in itself, bringing a product to market. Um, the next achievement in chronological order was the announcement that we are partnering with Foxconn to manufacture our next printer, which is the Robo R2. For those who don't know, Foxconn are the contract manufacturer for Apple, Amazon, Nintendo, and all of those iconic consumer electronics brands. So for Robo as a small business with 30 people, it's an exciting opportunity for us. We're their only partner in 3D, and we think um, obviously partnering with them and the quality and expertise they bring to the table, along with their scale, uh, that sets us in really good stead for the growth that's set to come. What milestones should investors be focused on over the coming months? Yeah, the immediate milestone will be the release of the Robo R2, which is a really exciting product launch for us. It's due to be released in the next couple of weeks. We've undertaken a soft launch, so we've been receiving quite heavy demand and pre-orders for the R2, and we're looking forward to delivering that product to customers. Beyond that, 2017 is really about building on the foundations that we laid in 2016, and that's expanding our footprint within our US retail customer base with the addition of an, an additional product, along with international expansion, where it's all greenfield for us, all incremental revenue throughout 2017 from international markets. On the product side, beyond the R2, we're also investing into the expansion of the print kit category. This is a new category we introduced into 3D printing, and that's basically the ability to build or 3D print a functional product out of a box. And the, the major product we've got at the moment in that, in that particular product set is the drone, and that's basically a project kit. You get all the electronics included in the box. You can design, customise, print, and fly your own drone. So it's a category we're really looking to uh, continue to invest in and to, um, and to push out to customers throughout the year. Ryan, thanks for your time. Thank you.